Hello everyone. A topic for today is intercostal arteries. The main arteries of intercostal spaces are posterior intercostal artery and anterior intercostal artery. Posterior intercostal artery gives rise to one branch and anterior intercostal artery gives rise to two branches. Posterior intercostal artery arises from the aorta. It is the branch of aorta. And the anterior intercostal arteries arises from the internal thoracic artery. This internal thoracic artery is also known as internal mammary artery. Now let us look at them in the diagram. These are the posterior intercostal arteries which are arising from the aorta. This is the aorta here and these are the posterior intercostal arteries. Now let us see the internal thoracic artery. This is the internal thoracic artery here. This is arising from the subclavian artery. This internal thoracic artery is a branch of subclavian artery. That is also from the first part of subclavian artery. Now let us look at them in the detail. First let us talk about the posterior intercostal artery. We have 11 intercostal spaces. So obviously we have 11 intercostal arteries. I mean 11 pairs of intercostal arteries. As we already discussed, the posterior intercostal artery arises from the aorta. It is the branch of aorta. All these 11 pairs of intercostal arteries are not given by the aorta. We have some specifications. They are after two posterior intercostal arteries are the branches of costocervical trunk of subclavian artery and the remaining nine posterior intercostal arteries arises from the aorta. So the upper two posterior intercostal arteries are given by the costocervical trunk of subclavian artery and remaining nine branches are given by the aorta. These upper two posterior intercostal arteries are known as supreme intercostal arteries. Now let us look at the branches of Posterior intercostal arteries. Posterior intercostal artery gives rise to your dorsal branch. This is the dorsal branch here. This is the dorsal branch of posterior intercostal artery. This dorsal branch supplies the spinal cord, vertebral column and some of the back muscles and also the skin of back. And this posterior intercostal artery also gives rise to the collateral branches. Now let us look at them in the diagram. Look at this here. These are the posterior intercostal arteries. These are the upper two intercostal arteries. Look at this here. These are arising from the costocervical trunk. This is the costocervical trunk of the subclavian artery. This is the subclavian artery here. And the branch of subclavian artery is the costocervical trunk. This is the costocervical trunk here. From this costocervical trunk, supreme intercostal artery is arising. This supreme intercostal artery supplies the first and second intercostal spaces. That is posteriorly. The remaining nine intercostal spaces are supplied by posterior intercostal artery. This posterior intercostal artery is arising from the iota. This is the iota here. That's all about the posterior intercostal arteries. Now let us see the anterior intercostal arteries. We have only 10 ribs coming anteriorly. As we already discussed in the ribs video that 11th and 12th ribs are present posteriorly. They do not present anteriorly. So, as we have only the 10 ribs anteriorly, there are only the 9 intercostal spaces. These 9 intercostal spaces are supplied by the anterior intercostal arteries. This anterior intercostal artery arises from the internal thoracic artery. This internal thoracic artery is also known as the internal mammary artery. Now, let us look at them in the diagram. This is the subclavian artery here. This subclavian artery gives rise to internal thoracic artery. This is the internal thoracic artery here. 
which is descending down. This internal thoracic artery descends down posteriorly to the clavicle and from then it descends down posteriorly to the costal cartilages. Let us see in the diagram. See, it, it is descending down posteriorly to the costal cartilages and this internal thoracic artery gives rise to anterior intercostal arteries. These are the anterior intercostal arteries here. These are the anterior intercostal arteries. And it also gives rise to the perforating branches. These are the perforating branches. It gives rise to anterior intercostal arteries and also to the perforating branches. As its name says, these perforates some of the muscles present in the region. This internal thoracic artery gives rise to anterior intercostal arteries up to 1 to 6 intercostal spaces. At the 6th intercostal space, this internal thoracic artery divides into the superior epigastric artery and also the musculophrenic artery. This internal thoracic artery terminates at the level of 6th intercostal space. And a point to be noted and underline it, this is the most important point. This terminates at the level of 6th intercostal space. And from here, it divides into the two branches, the superior epigastric artery and the musculophrenic artery. This musculophrenic artery supplies the remaining intercostal spaces. They are 7th intercostal space, 8th intercostal space and the 9th inter intercostal space. And the superior epigastric artery descends down into the anterior abdomen. It does not have any role in the thorax. First and second intercostal spaces, this anterior intercostal arteries supplies the pectoral muscles, breast and also the skin. And we also have the subcostal artery below the tooth rib. Coastal artery is a direct branch of thoracic aorta. That's all about the arteries. Thank you for listening. And if, and if you like the content, please do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Happy studying.